you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I have a curriculum unboxing and a curriculum haul for you guys I did some Christmas shopping from Rainbow Resources eBay and I also went to a bookstore called Ollie's and I got a few things you guys and I just want to share with you guys what I got for my homeschool uh, some new curriculum that I have and you know just all of that jazz so I'm really, really excited, you guys, about today's unboxing. So let's go ahead and get on into this thing. So you guys, if any of you guys are new here, I have three kiddos. They are 12, 5, and 3 right now. And we are entering in our second semester of our homeschool here shortly. And it's so crazy how um, my kiddos, they went through some pieces of their curricula a little bit faster. So I had to go and do an order from Rainbow Resources to replenish uh, their curricula. So we're just going to go ahead and unbox it. And I'm going to share with you guys everything that I got from Rainbow Resources first. And then I'm going to share with you guys some curricula pieces that I picked up from eBay because any chance that I get, I love to um, shop used. I love to be able to save any type of pennies that I can when it comes to like my homeschool curricula. Um, I love going to like discount stores and things like that. So yeah, I'm so excited. So let's go ahead and open up this one and we're going to see what's in here from Rainbow Resources. Rainbow Resources is like one of my favorite places to shop for my homeschool curriculum too because you can always find like some type of deal or whatever from them. So the first thing that I have at the top is first grade math with confidence. My kindergartner right now is a little more than two thirds away finishing up with her kindergarten math with confidence. I counted the lessons and she's going to be finished with the kindergarten math with confidence in February. So I went ahead and picked her up the next level, which is the first grade math with confidence. I'm so excited to dig into this one. So this right here is the teacher's manual. And then here is the student workbook. It's so crazy because like just filling it, it's definitely a lot thicker than the kindergarten math with confidence. So I mean, it still has the same feel of it. It. I love like the simple pages of the kindergarten math with confidence workbook and I love how colorful it still is so I'm so excited to dig into first grade math with confidence when we get there and I definitely wanted to make sure I have already had it on hand and I didn't wait till the last minute this set right here was on sale rainbow resources for $29.95 which is really really good so um, I'm glad I went ahead and snagged that up now for my baby girl, my youngest one, Alana, she will be four on January 2nd. We are about halfway through with her preschool math at home from Kate Snow's uh, program as far as like her math. And I went ahead and I just got another workbook for the kindergarten math with confidence since I already have the teacher's manual. So um, it, it's so cute. It looks exactly the same. So uh, since I was already doing an order, I was like, I might as well go ahead and get the workbook. So whenever I am ready to start kindergarten math with confidence with my uh, youngest daughter I can definitely just go ahead and pull it off of our shelf and start it so this workbook was only $11.25 so this is the um Kindergarten Math with Confidence workbook. Now, you guys, if you want to see any flip throughs, now that I have both of the levels, the first grade and the kindergarten, I definitely can compare them and give you like a more thorough flip through of Kindergarten Math with Confidence and first grade Math with Confidence if you want to see it. Um, so what else? I went ahead and I ordered also Matthew C. Alpha for my uh, kindergartner now. We are about halfway through Matthew C. Primer and I like supplementing my Math with Confidence with Matthew C. It's just extra practice and I love her being able to still use the blocks. She loves those blocks and um it's a really great way to really solidify those math facts that she's learning right now. So I went ahead and I got just the workbook from Matthew C. Um, Alpha from Rainbow Resources. Now for my oldest daughter, Brielle, she's in the sixth grade right now. And she, you guys, she is literally on the last three lessons of Matthew C. Zeta right now. So I definitely know I this main purchase for Rainbow Resources was for her. And I went ahead and I got her the Matthew C. Pre-Algebra level you guys I am not gonna lie I was so close to trying out Denison pre-algebra for Brielle instead of going with Matthew C but me and Brielle we went back and forth we looked through Denison pre-algebra and we was really deciding if we wanted to make a 
you know, math curriculum switch for Denison now, or if we want to go ahead and do at least a few more levels of math you see uh, pre or math you see pre algebra and on. So right now we went ahead and decided to continue with math you see. I don't know in the future if we may or may not try Denison algebra, especially for high school. But for now, math you see has been a godsend, and I will be crazy to make a switch if I don't need to. Especially you guys, you already know I went through a crazy math saga with my oldest daughter. So it's crazy that we are entering in our third level of math you see. If it's not broke, I'm not trying to fix it. So we made the ultimate decision to stay with math you see, and I'm really excited. Now this is the workbook and the test book. That comes with the um, Matthew C level. Now, for, from eBay, what I went ahead and I did was to save some money. I just purchased the um, the what is it? The instructor's manual, and it actually has like the student pack with the DVD, and it also has a digital pack where you can watch the DVD videos online from eBay. And I snagged up both of the Matthew C um, instructor's guides from eBay, along with like the DVDs and the digital pack for only $25 each. So both of these Matthew C's, I mean, they're sealed, you guys. They were only $25. So I definitely saved a lot of money by buying the um, Teacher's Guide used. Well, technically it's not used because it's brand new, but buying it, I guess, secondhand from eBay and then only buying the workbooks, I saved about $63. And you know, that's a lot when it comes to uh, your curricular purses, uh, buying it used. So I'm so happy I snagged these. So now I have everything that I need for my kiddos as far as math. So that's like all of the curricula that I have that's tangible. I went ahead and I purchased during Black Friday, I went ahead and I purchased this curriculum is digital, which is Mint and Bloom's Power of the People. And I went ahead and I purchased the book that goes along with it, which is Rad American Histories A through C. And it says movements and moments that demonstrate the power of the people. So this is kind of like a civics um unit that I want to go through with Brielle where we would just go through each movement on Fridays and it's really really going to be cool for us to go ahead and do this when it comes to her seventh grade year because she's get entering into like world history and I think that this is an awesome time it's really world history but it's really focused more so on American history and I think this will be a great time for me to kind of like do world and American and for us to really di dive in deep to different movements and really what made America America. So I'm really excited about this unit. I've seen it a lot on YouTube, especially from Michelle, Michelle G's channel. And I also seen it from uh, Instagram. I forgot where her name is, but I'm going to pop her tag um, either up here or down below of where I seen them do a flip through of this. And it made me be really, really interested to go ahead and start uh, Power of the People. And also one of my homeschool mom friends, she told me about Mint and Bloom as well. We chat all the time. And I was like, you know what? I definitely want to add this in to like our loop when it comes to her my oldest daughter's seventh grade year so that is one of the digital pieces of curricula that I do have. Now, um, when I went to go visit my sister, she lives out of town now. She just moved away from Georgia. And when I went to go drive to visit her, we seen, me and my mom seen Ollie's. And I heard so many things about Ollie's bookstores. And you guys, we went inside of there and we were in that store, kid you not, for like hours. And I picked up a few things from Ollie's and I just really didn't know like how I wanted to share with you guys some of the books that I got from them. I just have a few books and I'm going to share with you guys some of the titles. It's really, really random because I mean, most of the books are just like all over the place and it's really, really cool being able to dig and find treasures and things like that. So I found two books for my oldest daughter and I found a few picture books for uh, my younger two. So uh, for Brielle, my oldest, I found this book. It's called Hope Project Middle School. And any any book that I can find right now talking about middle school, I definitely love her reading since she, you know, is now officially a middle schooler. So um, she actually already started this book. And I'm going to ask her how it is. But uh, this is the first book that I got. And it was only $2.99. So I had to snack this from Ollie's. Another book that I uh, picked up for her is called Turn the Tide. And this is another free verse novel. Um, I 
when I was in Ollie's, I looked on my phone on Amazon and I love like reading the star reviews real quick before I actually pick up the book to see if it's good. And this book got four and a half stars. And I definitely think Brielle will love it. She read a book this year called Alone and it was written in free verse. And she said that was like one of her favorite like independent fun readers she read. So I definitely want her to get exposed to a little bit more free verse uh, type of story since she really enjoyed that last year. Now for my littles, I picked up this book. It was so cute. It's from Pretty Books and it's called How do you feel um definitely around this time it's great to continue to talk about emotions so they really can distinguish like how they're feeling and to be able to express them um instead of really like uh, resorting to like tantrums especially like my youngest one my three-year-old you guys so um i definitely was happy when i found this book about feelings as we are going to talk more about them when we hit into like january and start of our new semester now i seen this other book it was so cute it was only a dollar 99 and it's called don't touch my hair and I thought it was so cute because even my girl all of my girls are curly girls and even amongst themselves they get mad when each other touches their hair so I thought that this was a cute book to read to them so um I can't wait to dive into this one right here I picked up this book. It's called All Are Welcomed. And we checked this one out from our library. This same author wrote another book called Big Feelings. And my kiddos, I mean, when I checked it out from the library, I think I checked it out three times already. And at that point, it's definitely time for you to purchase the book. And this one was only $3.99 at Ollie's. So I definitely had to snag this one up because on Amazon right now, I think this book is about $16. So it was so crazy to see like the big discount as far as the book. So hopefully my kiddos will be excited that we actually own this and we don't have to check it out from a library anymore. I picked up this Tinker Active Science and it's for first grade and it has it's like a little mini curriculum where it has like all these different science tinkering activities inside of it and I thought that my um, middle daughter Leia would enjoy this and maybe this will be a way for us to incorporate like science and steam in our house in really a fun and simple way and when I seen this book for only $2.99 I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. Science is definitely my weakest subject in my homeschool at least the, the subject I feel like I have to work the hardest in and being consistent and I think something like this will be fun for us to do even over the summer so I just grabbed the first grade level instead of kindergarten because I want something to grow with her so um, I'm really excited about this little cute workbook and then the last book that um, I picked up was one that my oldest daughter Brielle found it's called flying high and it's a picture book about Simone Biles and she was really really excited so I can't wait to read this one with the kiddos so you guys, that is everything new that I picked up uh, in the month of November and December for my homeschool. And I really hope you guys enjoy seeing like my little mini uh, mid-year curriculum haul. I am, I'm excited you guys about entering into our new semester in January. But right now I'm, I'm just really flourishing in our season of rest. And while we're resting, I'm still being mindful that I am homeschool mom and I'm doing my best to do little mini preparations for next semester. So when January hits, I don't have a whole bunch of stuff bombarding on me. So this was one last little task that I had to do before I can officially close the homeschool room up, put the books down, and we can do like our arts and crafts and have fun and really enjoy our Christmas season. So you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.